Morning guys, how are you all today? So, um, it's Tuesday and as you guys know I've got uh, squeaky brakes uh, on my M6, this car. So I've had it uh, booked in to have the brakes changed uh, and today's the day. So it's uh, 10 to 8 in the morning. I said I'd have it there for 8 o'clock uh, and then they give you a lift home. But yeah, the, the brakes were squeaking and obviously you don't want that on a car like this or any car for that matter. So uh, I took it in and they agreed that it shouldn't be happening and that the, uh, the pads had malfunctioned somehow, got like a glaze over them and uh, that they would replace them under warranty. So that's pretty cool and uh, that will be done today and then I won't have any more squeaky, oh fuck, ah! <laughs> and I won't have any more squeaky brakes. <laughs> so I dropped my car off, no problem whatsoever. In fact, it's nearly time to go and pick it up now. And also, you won't believe this, but when I was dropping it off, I went around the passenger side and down the side of the passenger seat was my sunglasses that I've lost. Well, I haven't lost them, I've now found them. So guys, tell me, what ones do you think, what ones do you prefer? My old sunglasses, which I've now found and replaced at a cost that I didn't really need to um, have, but I feel like I prefer the, the new ones anyway. What do you guys think? Let me know what you think. Uh, I know this is a bit of a arsehole thing to do, but I want your your opinion. These ones, which are the, I think they're mirrored actually, uh, they're still Prada, like I said, they're the only ones that ever really kind of suit me. Or these ones, the new ones, which have got these really nice kind of brown sort of graduated uh, lenses. Let me know. I'll be very interested to uh, hear what you guys think. And now, I'm off to pick my car up. So I've got my car back, the squeak has gone away. Um, so I'm going to need to uh, give it a little bit of a road test and just make sure it's definitely fully gone. I think I told you guys the other day, but I've been listening to this album recently and it's called This Is Chill. Uh, just that, and it is an absolutely quality album. Uh, it's really long as well and there's ridiculous amounts of good songs on there. There's the odd one that's not so great, but for a compilation uh, album, I think it's absolutely fantastic. And it's right up my street as well for sort of driving music. So if you haven't checked it out already, check out the album, uh, This Is Chill. I wish I could play you some tracks, but I'll just get done for copyright. So uh, yeah, check that out, This Is Chill. So um, it is what's the time? half past nine. Uh, me and Jay just watched that film, uh, Three Days To Kill. It started off kind of quite good and it was a little bit funny as well. And then it just got mega, mega cheese. And then at the end, it was mega, mega, mega cheesy. It was ridiculously cheesy. But it was still an all right film. I mean, it wasn't the end of the world. Uh, it, was, it was fairly good. Uh, the other day, we watched uh, The Purge 2, which actually was, uh, was I thought was quite good. It was, uh, again, ridiculously tacky and cheesy. But, man, it was intense, that Purge 2. It was really... Um, yeah, intense is the only way that I can uh, kind of describe it. So definitely worth a watch, providing you're not, not one of these kind of arty-farty film critic types um, where you've got to have a funny aspect ratio or being black and white or some shit like that for it to be good. But yeah, I, th I thought it was good. Three Days to Kill, it was cheesy as hell, but it was all right. It wasn't the end of the world. But anyway, that's it for me today, guys. I'm going to be back with you again tomorrow. Peace.